Hey guys, I made already some video about America Geeks and I totally forgot to explain who these scammers are, that I infiltrate them since December 2017 and what they do. This will be a long and detailed video, but it's definitely worth to watch since a leak like this has not happened before yet, so this is a one of a kind video on YouTube, I can guarantee you this. Also, if you want to see the video without blurred faces, click on the DTube link in the description, I uploaded it there. So here we go. It all started when I found one of these fake pop-ups that America Geeks were sending. It says something about some dangerous try to get my personal login and bank information, and furthermore tells me my computer is infected with a Trojan virus and that I need to instantly call on that toll-free number, which is provided there. They had multiple similar pop-ups like this, which I learned later. So I thought I'd give it a try and scam bait them a bit and called them. They told me they are America Geeks and that they were Microsoft certified technicians and all that bullshit. And then they proceeded to direct me to their website www.geekshelp1.me to download their remote software. Once done and their connection was established, the agents continued and made some bogus services on my computer like showing me stopped services in the temp folder and saying that there are hidden viruses, which is obviously a lie. Can you repeat again? What is with these files? Oh, yeah. Know, what's up with these files? Well, these files are the reason that our computers are at risk. Oh, okay. Why? These files come from different websites or when we use emails, uh, when we are connected to internet, mm, they Lisa, just yeah. come in our system and yeah, due to yeah. which our system gets in trouble okay lisa yeah that makes well, as far as yeah. i am checking here there are a lot of files here also are they the viruses yeah okay they are these are the microsoft services which makes your securities work and which makes your computer work and yeah. you can see they're all stopped there's oh. no microsoft security or nothing right yeah. we need to renew them as well sir so, sir, for, for to, to do that, sir, I have to generate a license, sir, that comes for like three years, five years in the lifetime. You are talking to America Geeks via the technical support provider. Then they told me the fixation of all those problems will be solved if I take one of their plans with the most expensive one, lifetime subscription, costing $699.99 US dollars. To make the payment complete, they guided me to www americageekpayment.com where they asked me to enter my payment information. After I got now the proof that they are a scam call center due to these shady selling tactics and pure lies, I went on and researched about them. Firstly, I used Wireshark while they were connected to my computer to grab their IP address. Looking up that IP address revealed one of the company names, Mark Software Systems. And through the website of India Ministry of Corporate Affairs, I could see that the owner is Kunal and Mohit Bansal and someone called Amalpreet Singh Duat. But none of my sources has ever seen that person. So we assume this person was part of it in 2013 when the company got incorporated and is no longer relevant. And it also showed me one of their locations. Although I quickly found out the real call center location. After some time, I found out that the real company name is Geeks Technical Solutions. The address they provided on several of their websites is a dead end though. I called that call center over and over again, and eventually I made contacts with employees and ex-employees who were providing me a lot of insider information. Moreover, fellow scam baiters that I work with managed to hack their servers, getting access to their email server and website. With the help of that, that data leak, I could verify and add missing information and map out the whole company. Also, we discovered shocking information. For example, that Geeks employees saved customer account details and logins as plain text, maybe for malicious purposes. We learned that Kunal and Mohit Bansal, two Punjabi brothers, are the owners and are officially listed as directors of this company. Their cousin Manmohan Bansal is director of Sky Browser, another company related to them. 
Then there is Chamandeep Singh, senior manager of Blue Alpha IT, their student loan scam company. I will cover both those companies in a different video though. Other important people are Kapil Sharma, assistant manager, Karnika Jain and Vaibhav Jain. She was head of web development and thus responsible for the fake pop-up that they were sending on the internet. Varun Watawan, one of the team leaders in sales and number one performing in sales. Gaurav Sharma, ex-employee of Genpact and Google and now marketing head of the company. And Vikas Bhatti, expansion manager and boss of the fairly new open call center branch in Tunisia called Geeks France. Another important person later on will be Naresh Kumar, subject matter expert in research and development, and Chinky Sharma, team leader of special care, also known as customer care. By searching America Geeks, aka Geeks Technical Solutions on the internet, it was possible to find out a lot of their numbers, especially on scammer.info a website dedicated to expose scammer numbers so that scam betas can call them and waste the scammer's time to protect people from getting scammed. It was possible to find them because members of that community got the pop-up and posted the number there and also called the number to get to know which company is behind it. This info then was posted in the threads so it was working like tags and I could easily search for their new numbers. Also through the data leak or hack, we got access to one of their Excel files, which listed all of their numbers. By running these numbers through Google search, I could uncover a lot of their fake sites that are placed for SEO purposes to attract new customers. Examples are itechwire.com, americageekpayment.com, geekamericas.com, officeactivation.net, or printer-tech-support-help.com. Also related to these numbers and websites are a bunch of social media accounts like Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. They use social media to spread their numbers even more and to attract new scam victims. A lot of them have been deleted by now. One Facebook page in particular was interesting because it seemed to be their main page and it contained loads of pictures of the office and the employees at certain special events, such as birthday celebrations or national holidays like Christmas, Holy, Republic Day and Diwali. Through this Facebook page and through those pics, together with the employees' information, I could map out the office building. In the basement, there's the HR department, as well as training rooms where new newly joined employees got trained for the scam and also got some lessons in how to speak properly English and how to imitate accents. In the first floor, there was the call center floor with the little cubicles for each sales agent and a lot of security cams on the ceiling. Apparently they had trust issues with their employees. One floor above and second floor, there was Sky Browser, the travel agency. The floor also has this cubicle set up. On the third floor, there's Blue Alpha IT their student loan scam and the cafeteria and another training room are also there. The call center employed about 400 to 500 people in the different shifts to be available 24 seven to make the most profit possible out of the scam. Actually, the salary sheet of April 2018 shows 596 employees but also containing a dozen of employees who resigned or who are fired. In total, they spent about 14 million Indian rupees on salaries in April, which converts to 205,000 US dollars or 175 euros. The employees also got incentives based on the sales they made, which works like this. Each employee has to achieve a target sales and after completion, Every additional sales gets you a percentage of that sale, starting with 5%. Each year you stay with the company, your percentage will increase by 1%. These incentives were paid out differently. A typical scammer or tax sales executive, as they call it, earns about 22,000 Indian rupees fixed salary. 
which is about 320 US dollars or 270 euros. And then the incentives a fresher can make is around 15,000 rupees, which is 220 euros, US dollars, whereas a normal and experienced sales agent can make around 20 to 30k rupees, which is about 290 to 440 US dollars. And if an agent gets promoted as team leader, he is allowed to call existing customers again to pitch them to pay for another fake service. We actually have a real call recording with the victim that got pitched again. Hi Frank, this is JV here. I'm the security supervisor. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. All right, Frank, so I'm working on the computer. Are you near to the computer right now? Yes. All right, so I'm, I'm running a scan here. It's taking a little while, so uh, you need to be with me on the line, all right? I'm going to put you on hold, all right? I'll get back okay. to you. Thank you. All right, Frank, thank you for staying online. You there? Yes, All right. I'm the Microsoft services are getting stopped. You see here, everything is stopped. Yeah. Along with this, sir, we found a file on the computer, which is a kind of ransomware attack, which is going on from last a couple of months, and it has already infected more than 5 million computers in 150 countries. So if you look over here, do you see what this file says? It's a kind of bad rabbit ransomware. You see this? Yeah. All right. We have to block it down, and that can only be done by installing the complete secure socket layer fee. All right? Which you don't have. And uh, oh, wait, 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 wait a goddamn minute there! Now I just spent three hundred ninety-nine dollars to upgrade my uh, virus thing. Sorry, what are you saying? I talked to your supervisor the last time, and mm -hmm. I spent three hundred ninety-nine dollars for Norton to be installed. Yes, you have an Norton on the computer, Frank. That's working well, fine, but you, you. you guys got me for almost a thousand bucks already. No problem. Frank, if you think so, that we always charge you, the thing is that this is a completely different license which you don't have with us. So that's why we are recommending you as being a technician. That's our responsibility. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. no problem. That way, those team leaders could easily get over one lakh Indian rupees, which is $1,500 extra on their salary. A normal employee makes in total about 610 to 760 US dollars per month, including both fixed salary and incentives. And a team leader over 2,100 US dollars, as their fixed salary is already higher. I also heard that Varun Vatavan, the number one seller, he got about 4,000 US dollars per month. And considered the low living costs in India, this is actually a lot. What is interesting is that the other departments, such as customer care, escalations, or HR, just got a fixed salary without those incentives. And the fixed salary isn't even adjusted, so these jobs were not really well paid. Another interesting fact is that they even employed 28 office boys, I guess to make them coffee or other basic jobs. I actually interviewed one of their sales, a sales agents about the salary and about the working condition at Geeks. This will come out as a separate video as well. So how much money did the call center make? They are selling service plans on different lengths. The most expensive one is a lifetime plan for 699.99 US dollars or sometimes 799.99 according to the confirmation emails they sent to the customers. On some days they were sending porn pop-ups so that the victims were even more intimidated and were more willing to pay as this conversation shows. So in one single day they made around 50,000 US dollars on average. Still, they didn't even pay Google for the AdWords campaign, apparently. If they made 50,000 US dollar each day, and that 30 days per month, since they were working 24-7, that's a turnover of about 1.5 million US dollars per month. I already mentioned before that their salary expenses of 205,000 US dollars, and also they had to pay for the phone call $900 per 50,000 minutes. They did have some other expenses, such as Sometimes they paid for security software, but sometimes they even used pirated copies of official software, such as Microsoft Office. But even then, deducting those expenses, that's still around 1.3 million US dollars. So what about the persons I was talking about earlier? Kunal Bansal, the call center boss. He's in the end of his 20s. According to sources, he's 27. He studied at University Institute of Legal Studies in Chandigarh, together with his brother Mohit. They started the business even before Geeks. PNR Jewelry, that buys and sells gold rings and other jewelry, 
as the name already suggests. Then he started tech support process together with his brother and cousin. He had a Facebook profile where he even publicly showed that he's the director of Mark Software Systems, a company registered by him and Mohit. He shut down his Facebook profile though. He is known for having bodyguards at his side, which he originally had employed for the jewelry business, but he uses them now as a status symbol. Latest info about him is that he got engaged on June 3rd and is now married and it's an arranged marriage. He is listed as director for both Sky Browser and Geeks. His salary is about 85k Indian rupees, which is 1200 US dollars for Sky Browser and the same amount for Geeks which would be 2,400 US dollars in total. His main earnings are the profits of the companies, of both companies, at the end of the fiscal year, and the salary is just a salary to be able to pay bills and other expenses during the year. Mohit Bansal, he's a ghost. He does not have any social media accounts, at least which are known, and even on that Geek's Facebook profile with over 500 pics, there was not a single picture of Mohit. There's not much known about him. It's just known that he also got married recently. End of April, he married an Indian businesswoman, according to my sources. She also works in a call center. Same as his brother, he is earning about 2,400 US dollars, but the same story goes here as well. Main earnings at the end of the fiscal year. Manmohan Bansal is the cousin of both Kunal and Mohit. He is using social media, and his pics were openly visible on that geek's Facebook account. He is listed as director for Sky Browser in the salary sheet, and there earns about 50,000 Indian rupees, which is about $700. Since he's a director, his main profits will also come at the end of the fiscal year with the company profits. Then there's the question about the money mule. The person which sits in the United States and collects the money and routes it back to India. Also that person needs to register a company in the US. This person is incredibly valuable for them because this person allows them to operate so if we could get this person, we could get him arrested. And guess what? We found that person. Through the hacks, we had access to their email accounts, and one email address in particular was surprising. Julian Brand at usatechnologyllc.com Also, Julian Brand's American Express credit card was there in the email account, as a scan. And a bunch of things were paid on his credit cards with Kunal Bansal as name. This made me suspicious, so I googled United USA Technology LLC. And on Better Business Bureau's website, USA Technology LLC showed up and had Mohit Bansal as CEO. Gotcha. Then I looked up that LLC and found official docs stating Julian Brand as registrar of that company. Also shown there are two different addresses. I googled them to find out that they are also related to Geeks into Sky Browser. Then I proceeded to search for him on Facebook and I found this guy. According to his Facebook profile, he's in a relationship with a girl called Hannah, so I checked her profile as well, and voila! They have been together in Nepal, and guess where else? In Chandigarh. I asked a couple of employees, and even they confirmed that it's him. So it's definitely him. We have found the money mule. Funny side fact, he's an actor. There's a video on Vimeo showing his acting reel. I told you to get lost, bro. Oh, fuck! Where's Harley? What the fuck? That really hurt, man. I don't know. That Where really is hurt. she? I don't know. Fuck! I then worked together with Malwarebytes, a renowned antivirus and internet security company, as they also published a bunch of articles about geeks. Apparently, geeks were also impersonating their support hotline, and since then, Malwarebytes were after them and published articles about them as well. I will post links in the description. So I shared everything with them, as well to further push the story and to further escalate the story with US American authorities, so those authorities are investigating the scam as well. Also Malwarebytes had some info that I didn't have about Geeks France. Geeks France is their branch for French calls. Vikas Bati, expansion manager, took care of that and opened a call center in Tunisia. Malwarebytes found out some info about them, and according to my sources, it didn't run so well. They had problems with employees and it closed soon after they started it. Meanwhile, fellow scam bagers were call flooding geeks. My previous video shows those calls. They had a massive call volume of just our calls. Some guy perfected the technique and he alone could output 200 calls at the same time to the call center, ending up blocking them from taking customer calls and costing the scammers a lot of time and money. 
they were literally begging me to stop. These call floods happened over several weeks. Then all of a sudden everything was over. From one day to another, geeks fired 200 to 300 employees and shut down the whole tech process. I couldn't reach them anymore on any of their phone numbers and on my YouTube channel angry comments of Indian persons appeared and on other social media where I have fake accounts. They started to blame me for everything. I couldn't believe what's going on there so I confirmed with other sources and apparently it was true. The real reasons are still unknown. Rumors say that they heard about an incoming income tax rate by the police and that's why they shut down. Others said they were pl planning to shut down the process since a long time ago already. Another theory might be that due to our spam calls, which should have costed them quite some fortune, the scam wasn't profitable enough anymore. Their websites went down, Kunal and Mohit's private Facebook accounts were suddenly unavailable. The whole operation vanished as if it has never existed. So is this the end? Stay tuned for the next video. Yeah.